All right, I'm ready to get started. I moved to Bozeman four years ago because I wanted to live someplace that you could walk everywhere. You may have seen me walking around town with this sunflower umbrella. Friends have even told me that their children point at me when they see me walking down the street. Since April 2018, for about 18 months, I have not owned a car by choice. A Lyft driver recently asked me how I lost my license. But here's proof that it was not for too many DUIs. I can also assure you that my children have not taken my keys away. In fact, I gave my beloved Subaru out back to my son and his wife in Philadelphia. Uh, they were having a baby in April 2018, so I drove the Subaru to them through the worst snowstorm uh, I have ever seen in the first week of April in Madison, Wisconsin. I do get to go and visit and drive my Subaru in Philadelphia. Uh, I go to see my grandson whenever I possibly can, and I'm rapidly improving my parallel parking skills. Notice that all the mirrors are turned in. That's the only way they remain attached to the side of the car. So I got my wish. I live somewhere where I can walk everywhere from my downtown condo. I can walk to four grocery stores, to yoga, to the gym, more on that in a minute, to the university, to the doctor, to the dentist, and to visit friends all over Bozeman. Now, I know that Bozeman is very bike friendly, and I do own a very nice all-season bike. I just find biking more complicated with the helmet and the lock and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, when I have a destination that's more than three miles, I ride my bike. I want to be very clear. I know that I chose to go carless from a very privileged position. I am an old white lady with enough resources to buy a home in downtown Bozeman. Ironically, by walking everywhere, I am often in close contact with those who have nothing. I, uh, rec I am a, uh, have a nodding acquaintance with several homeless individuals and recognize where they tend to camp and to spend their days. I am immensely grateful for all I have and work as often as I can to support those who have little or nothing um, and are, are outside in all kinds of weather. People often ask, how do you manage without a car? And I answer, it's all about the equipment. I have several pairs of boots and winter tracks, walking poles, warm clothes of all varieties in multiple layers, and I have a very trusty flashlight uh, named Larry, uh, given to me uh, by Jerry, who, <laughs> who is in the audience tonight. For fitness, I rely on your yoga seven-minute walk and John Murray at Altitude Athletics, which is a 33-minute walk. Um, I do uh, want to say that one of the uh, aspects of walking everywhere are finding unexpected things in unusual places. This pink thong was frozen on the sidewalk ice <laughs> on North Rouse. I'm still trying to figure out how it got there, so if you lost it, see me after the show. There are all the expected financial benefits of not owning a car, no insurance, registration, oil changes or tune-ups, and then some unexpected ones. Because there are no random trips to REI and Home Depot, I save lots of money. But the biggest benefit by far is getting to know the beauty of Bozeman. The views from Pete's Hill, the sunrises and the sunsets, the beginning of the labyrinth, and knowing where I can find the reddest leaves in the fall. From the ground, I know more of this place more intimately than any place I have lived with a car. I know where the bulbs pop up in early spring. I know which side of the street has shade in the summer and where the dangerous black ice lingers in the winter. 
I have not ti had time to investigate my actual carless, uh, what being carless has on my carbon footprint. Given that I fly for work over 100,000 miles so far this year, I'm burning my fair share of jet fuel. However, my eco-conscious daughter has given me a pass on using a few plastic bags. What about the downsides of not owning a car? In the past 18 months, I've only encountered one, and that is finding ways to get to my favorite place on Earth, my cabin at East Rosebud Lake. 143 miles is just a bit too far for me to walk or bike. The solution has been easy and educational. Turns out renting an occasional car means that you always get to drive a clean car and you never have to vacuum one. You can also learn about new features like seats that buzz your butt when you get too close to another car. <laughs> Even renting cars has been a win-win. I get to rent pickups and other cool things that I would never actually buy. I can take my umbrella on hikes with friends to East Rosebud, Highlight Canyon, and beyond. Shout out to my friend Katie Bark for teaching me how to pronounce Pachachka and for encouraging me to be up here tonight. While picking my PK slides, I realized my dream of living someplace where I could walk to everything has come true. While I can rent a car and drive to find beautiful hikes and incredible views, I can actually find everything I need 10 minutes up the hill. Much gratitude to Bozeman for becoming my home. I do have just one small request. Even though the organizers warned us about being preachy, the best way to be kind to walkers this winter is to shovel your sidewalks. <laughs> Thank you very much and have a wonderful evening.